Hey Church, welcome to another devotion. I hope you're having a great day and uh, we're talking about miracles. So we're going to get into it. Uh, I'm reading from Mark chapter 9 verse 21. Let me read it to you then I'll share some thoughts. So Jesus asked the boy's father, how long has he been like this? From childhood, he answered. It has often thrown him into the fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, Jesus said, I love it. He's kind of indignant. How could you even think that? If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said. I command you come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed violently and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many thought he was dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up to his feet and he stood up. I love this. I love this passage. I love these moments. I love these miracles. And I guess one of the things to know about this miracle, and maybe it's a bit of a, a thought for today, is before this miracle, there was a mountain of transfiguration. Just before this, in chapter 9, Jesus goes up and has a transfiguration. I want to encourage you that for every miracle, there is a transfiguration. There's time alone with God. There's prayer. You need to get ready for your miracle how you can. The way that we get ready for a miracle is by growing our faith, by spending time in prayer, by fasting, by changing our language from defeat to victory. For every miracle, there is a transfiguration. So you need to find out what's yours. What do you need to do to get ready for the miracle? The boy's father says, if you can do anything. I think so often in life, we ask the God who can do everything, if he can do anything. And kind of the answer is no, I, 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 I can't do anything. You know, Jesus is, he's, he's like, no, I can't do anything. That's not me. You've got the wrong guy. I'm the guy who does everything. I, I, I'm not the guy who just does something. I'm the guy who does everything. I span the world on its axes. I breathe life into your bones. I don't just do something. I do everything. I am the great I am. I believe that lots of people are asking for miracles and we've got to get that transfiguration part right. So, you know, you might be asking for more money and maybe transfiguration for you is be more generous. You might be asking for greater opportunity and God saying be faithful with the small. You might be asking for more gifting and God's saying, hey, why don't you serve more? You might be saying, I need more breakthrough and maybe your transfiguration is more praise. See, he can't just do anything. He is the God who does everything. But sometimes, often, there needs to be our moment of transfiguration for the miracle. I, I want to encourage you today as I close that it's our job to deliver the mission. It's his job to deliver the miracle. We've got to go where we need to go. We've got to do what we need to do. We've got to pray. We've got to do the part of the mission so he can do the miracle. And there's other times where we're praying for a miracle and God's actually just saying, hey, you know what you need? You need management. You're asking for a miracle in your finances. No, you just need management of your finances. You're asking for a miracle in your health. No, you just need management of your health. You see, there is miracles available and God is miraculous, but there is a requirement of transfiguration. My encouragement to you today is to look at the miracle you're asking for and say, what's my mission in this miracle? What do I need to do? What's my part to play in seeing the God who can do anything the God who can do everything, do another miracle today. God bless you, church. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.